guys welcome back to my channel this is Kim of Creative Crafticality and today I am working in the new Heart Song Valentine collection from Chibuli Chic I'm on her design team you can purchase these kits I will have a link down below in her or in my description box for her channel um, I have not looked recently to see if they have any of these left but um, if you were able to get one, I just wanted to inspire you while I work with some of the items that came in the kit um, that she does come out with the kit monthly. And I know she has some of the older kits available in her shop and some other items that she sells in her Etsy shop. So go ahead and check her out. Check out her channel because she does amazing work. So what I wanted to do today was make an a tag. The collection always comes with this tall tag with the paper collection that she's used and this matches the cover. I'm going to use it on this side and decorate this side of it. And everything you see here came in the kit as well as a ton of other stuff. I can show you the other stuff here. Not all of it. I'll just show you the baggie of stuff. It's jam-packed full. This is just stuff I had pulled out that I thought I was going to use, but yeah, it comes with a ton of stuff, vintage and new, um, and yeah, so these things I want to use to make this tag, and I want to start by doing some tearing of just little strips. I am going to grab some Distress Ink to, to use this, so I'll be right back here. So I have the fired brick. You can use any red or whatever color just just or just regular ink that you want to use. I'm just using it to kind of just stress the edges. I think Valentine's Day is probably second of my favorite holidays. Christmas is first. And Thanksgiving, I don't know, I think I I like Thanks or Valentine's Day over Thanksgiving. I just love all all of the fun stuff that goes along with Valentine's Day. I think of my childhood and as we would um, exchange Valentines and I'd love to making Valentines as a kid. I would make special ones for different people. I don't know, it was just fun, and then the whole collecting and making a Valentine box and all that it was a lot of fun. I guess I'm not done here. I'm going to go ahead and do the hearts. this heart this is really cute I love the little heart punched out on there I don't you can't see really if I'm doing that eh, I won't finish that but I thought I would put this heart in the middle and just kind of lay it a little bit down so you can see the red behind it and and I want to take and do some pieces across to go underneath these hearts. And let's go ahead and rip, rip an edge. Ripping around an inch. I'm going to let's see, work it this way so I have the white. And 
want to cut this the width of the tag and I'll use this down below here trim that off I'm just gonna lay it out before I glue it down just so I have everything the way that I want it I'm going to have these hearts going in a different direction and then yeah I'll have those going like that so they're kind of going back and forth so I think I like that and I'm just using tacky glue this is the clear kind I don't know if you've tried this kind before it's I think it's a little bit wetter than the regular tacky glue so sometimes you, you want to use it on thicker paper just because if you you know do too much of it and you're using it on you don't want to use it on thin paper because it, it will show through and it'll wrinkle more but it's fine with these heavier papers so I'm going to go ahead and glue these all down and then I will use some of the embellishments to embellish it I love making making and altering tags for journals I just I don't know I, that part of it is really fun for me I did alter some tags in a couple videos ago for my Winnie the Pooh junk journals which I have up in my Etsy shop right now um, but those were altering, oops, altering, uh, tag, shipping tags and a bingo card. And I showed one that was a time card. So I think those are all fun things that you can alter for tags. All right. And then I'm going to use some of this. the fibers and things here Let's see oh don't want to lose that little heart because I want to put that on I think I'll just put that on one of this little the middle heart here And then there's three little flowers. So I think I'll put the red one in the middle and then do these two down here. And what can I do with this? Maybe do like a little, I just kind of rounded it a little bit, made a little circle, and I'm going to glue that underneath the flower. It just adds a little more texture, more elements on. Put a little bit of glue. And then right there. I'm 
And then I'll put some of the top there. go and then oh, I already put that one down thought maybe I could add some of these sequins just as some added sparkle Let's see here Just in random spots, I think. Or maybe not random. The tops of the hearts. And the bottom of the heart. Yeah, that just adds a little bit of sparkle onto it. I don't know why I'm sticking to the red, but it's just what I'm drawn to right now. There we go. Oops. And to finish this off, I'm going to add in some of the stuff at the top here. There's this fun kind of velvety trim and then more of the pink thread. I'm going to put that up at the top. Through the hole. I think it's chenille thread. I think that's what that is, or chenille yarn. It's so soft. Alrighty. So there it is. I love it. So fun. It doesn't take a whole lot of time, but it's just fun to play with all the fun papers and trim embellishments and things so hope you enjoyed that as I said it is the heart song collection by cheaply chic so hopefully you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you did leave me a comment and subscribe and I will see you again next time this is Kim with creative practicality bye god bless mm -hmm.